Hello, YouTubers. Hey. Okay, welcome back to Brian's Comic Book Showcase. Today's segment is going to be on the Fantastic Four. And Fantastic Four, we'll get right to it. Of course, created in 1961 by Stan Lee, Jack Kirby. Stan Lee went golfing with some um, DC Comics exec, and he says, oh, our Justice League book is doing really well. It's a team up of superheroes. So he goes back and decides to create a comic book of superheroes. And he does it his way, and that way is the Fantastic Four way. This is Jack Kirby's uh, example of his art here. This is a cover of his uh, the Jack Kirby Collector. This is just an example of how it looks like in pencil before it's inked and colored. And that's the cover again. It's the exact same picture. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful work. Jack Kirby had the book for about 101 issues before he left abruptly Marvel and went to DC to create some more of his own characters. This is another cover. Jack Kirby, this is their Fantastic Four edition from some time ago. Beautiful artwork in these. Okay, let's get to it, right to it. And I have Essential Fantastic Four Volume Number One. These are the first issues, first couple of years, from 61, 62. And that's the back cover there. The Submariner comes on the scene. Dr. Doom is introduced. Puppet Master. They split off and did the Human Torch. They gave him his own series and uh, half the book of Strange Tales. And... He had that slot for a while, shared it with Doctor Strange. Towards the end, they teamed him up with The Thing. And of course, many of you may know, the original Human Torch was created back in the 40s. And that's, he was an android. And this is the uh, example of his uh, cover work there with uh, his sidekick, Toro. And moving right along now, there's uh, volume two of The Essential. I face off against the Hulk and the Avengers and the Red Ghost. That's volume two. Volume three, you get the Galactus Trilogy, the, in the Silver Surfer is introduced, you get... The Black Panthers introduced by Jack Kirby. This is volume three. This is not Jack Kirby's artwork. There you go. And volume four. We got the Inhumans now in the picture. Got a crate. This also includes some great uh, annuals, original stories in the Fantastic Four Annuals. This is Volume 5, and this is finishes up the Jack Kirby run. It was turned over to John Romita after he left, and then to John Buscema after, after him. You get a good look at that. There's our back cover there. It's Dr. Doom's Latvia country. There you go. As we want to move on up here a little further, in time, this is volume nine. Of course, when Jack Kirby quit, the Fantastic Four had to go on. And various artists, great artists, have taken over and done the book. There's the back cover to that. You keep up the Fantastic Four tradition. Reed Richards, the Mr. Fantastic, power of stretching, the thing, half man, half monster, the invisible woman, and the Human Torch. Now I'm going to show you really very quickly here some individual issues I have. These are reprints of some of these from the Silver Age. Sandman, Sentry issue. These are all still uh, Jack Kirby. This is the artist. 
Stan Lee was right. This is the Galactus Trilogy here. These are reprints. Good, good buy. Good deal. And Marvel's Greatest Comics reproduced some of the early Fantastic Four. These are just the covers. Here we go. Comics are still 25 cents at this point. There's the thing. Coming Ben Grimm again. This is one of the last Jack Kirby issues, I believe. Well, they reprinted in Marvel's Greatest Comics for a while. Gave you an opportunity to catch up. At that time, some of the early Fantastic Four stories. Good opportunity. They, they're in good shape. That's what I like about reprints. You, they're in good shape. You don't have to worry about them being fragile. And here's another. Just moving on into the... This is issue 163. A little further in a series, a little further on. It's a good cover there. So I read aged a little bit, read Richards. This issue, it's a great cover here. This is issue 218. Another Dr. Doom issue. Dr. Doom has been their greatest villain. Okay. And for a time, they changed, altered the lineups now and then. She-Hawk became one of the Fantastic Four. And here's another two-in-one. This is a thing, Human Torch team up here. Here's a king-size annual Toys R Us copy. There you go. And these were some more recent Fantastic Four with a dollar true believer copies. Great bargain. They've been in the stores lately, the com your local comic book shops. That was Fantastic Four. There's The Watcher, Hulk vs. Thing. It's a great cover here with Galactus. Once again, there's Strictly thing on the cover. Nobody did a thing better than Jack Kirby. Okay, now this is an old Ghost Rider starring in Spider Man, Wolverine. And you got to remember, Jack Kirby started it all. And they moved on up into. Uh, Introducing after a while when it began the, the Submariner, we're going to do a series on him, a segment on him. Submariner is another character from the 40s who fought the Human Torch. They were like uh, fire and water in the 40s. He was a creation of Bill Everett. Okay, and that's this is a book. This is a great book here. Fantastic. This has every origin story in the Marvel, early Marvel universe. It's hard to find now. Thank you for tuning in and watching today. Glad to have you here visiting here in the bunker. Have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.